back to all new grades. Today we're gonna be playing some Jurassic World the game. Um while um while I was between episodes, I've been really busy in this game. Well, the first thing is I almost got enough DNA to get um Omega 09, which is the boss hybrid. For some weird reason my sound isn't on. Um, oddly, um, I got Code 19. I'm gonna play it. It's easy because there's a Pelican minus. Like I said, I've been really busy. Um, and, um, I may or may not have maxed out two creatures that I want to show you. Um, and they're actually really awesome. I have no idea where my sound actually went, but um, it's okay. It doesn't matter because all you can hear is my voice. Don't worry, I messed up on that one. It's okay. Perfect containment. Let's just skip ahead to that. All right, let's get our car done. Nine. With that, boom. Get the loyalty points, and I got to claim some more DNA. I only got 100 DNA. Okay, whatever. So um. The first thing I want to show you is, um, well, let's go into land. I maxed out, um, this um, rare hybrid called the Lipotator, my Diplotator, to the max level. The stats, um, of them are, um, I mean, just the health of it is, um, 1,691. And, um, 584 attack damage. Um, I also, um, maxed out my, um, bad lava drawer to level 40 as well. Also, I got my first T-Rex when I only had level, level 27. Look at battling. Let's do Diplotator, Negosaurus, and Conotaurus. Let's see what, what um, our enemies are. Hopefully there's no pterodactyls. Because diplocators hate pterodactyls. Down there's a pterodactyl. It's okay, I can one shot this T-Rex then too, it's easily. Watch this. One shot in with the diplocator. This thing is awesome, I love this diplocator, but as you can see there are two, um, I mean, pterodactyl hybrids. Bro, do you think that can kill me? Let's go ahead and do. I guess since he blocked one, let's do one attack. That is, that hybrid is actually beautiful. If that, I'm fighting right now with my hybrid. Oh, he just ended my diplocator. Alright. Three should be enough. No, it was not enough! Darn it, my Megalosaurus, you failed me! Yeah, I forgot to tell you, I also got a Titanoboa and a Megalosaurus. That's the news. He's only, he, he just took on my Megalosaurus. Seriously, is that all he got? I'm gonna go three and one block. All right. Finally killed that hybrid that killed my duplicator. Wait, that's an epic hybrid. Darn it! My clone horse is definitely gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, for sure. He can literally one shot my max level clone horse. Yeah, but okay, my clone horse just died. Darn it! Now that I showed you that, let's go with our next three. T-Rex, Dilophosaurus, what, I mean, whatever this dude's name is. Alright, let's see what my Dilophosaurus can actually do. With my T-Rex and my other epic hide, I mean, and my other epic creature. I don't care if you have a class advantage. I have about, um, a li about 200, I mean, a little bit less than 200 health more than you do. Why do you need you none of such as this? 
when one of them is at level 36, and one of them is at level 19, the max level is, well, you know, well, uh, 40. Johnny did two blocks. Nice work there, buddy. That sure be a way, that's a sure, um, a bad idea to do. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 20 more health left! Darn it, I thought that was finish him. Alright, hopefully he doesn't kill my T-Rex. Looks like he is gonna kill my T-Rex. Hey, but, uh, the next one has a class, I mean, we have a class advantage about, I mean, uh, at, I mean, um, uh, Oh, this hybrid. I mean, the next up hybrid. I can literally two shot you my last double dive off a sword. Don't know those stone not to kill me. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose again. Wow. Alright. Looks like it's not as good as I thought I was at this game. At least I killed a hybrid. But then there's this dude. Who can basically two shot me coming up next? See, life so is sometimes unfair, kids. And he can, yeah, he, he, why did he go out for the four? Do you think I'll do a block? <sighs> oh, God. Alright, um, it's my Utah Raptor. Oh my God, I gotta save my Utah Raptor. I don't want you to escape the Utah Raptor. Let's go to Utah Raptor. Go to Utah Raptor. Of course, this is the max level Utah Raptor, level 40. It's not that bad. It's actually one of the more powerful uh, common carnivores. Okay. Okay, I got a perfect containment. Let's just fast forward that. I got something to claim. Nice. Oh yeah, I hatch these guys so then I can get more um, B DNA, aka boss DNA. Yes, my arrow titan. Go right there, my arrow titan. Now then I had my raptors. Nice. Black raptor. Hey. Ten super rare creatures. Okay, uh. Now let's look at the animations of both of my new, I mean, all my new dinos I got. So this is the Diplocator, um, Max Level 40, of course. Here is a petting animation for it. Look at those giant devil-like horns are on it. Wow. I can't believe how deadly this thing is. And let's do the angry animation now. Oh! Let's, let's do that again. Look, it just rolls around. How, how would it, how would it spikes not getting stuck in the ground once Royal rolls around like that? I, there's many questions that cannot be answered. Next, let's go to the T-Rex. Alright, here's a petting animation for the T-Rex, of course. My favorite dino, T-Rex. And let's do the angry animation. Wow, ferocious. Here's the Megalosaurus. Here's the petting animation for the Megalosaurus, kind of like the T-Rexes. In fact, they're same, the same model, except different, um, textures. There's the, um, same, uh, angry animation. Ferocious just like the T-Rex. Alright, another Code 19. I need tired of these Code 19. Stop trying to escape, dinos. Okay. Also, I got a Titanoboa, only at level 27. Here is the, uh, um, petting animation for the Titanoboa. This 
It's so cool. Let's do the angry animation. Oh, that is awesome. All right. Um. Now we're beautiful. Uh, let's also um get our XP from that. And let's go over to the, um our new level forty Dilophosaurus. Let's do a petting animation. Of course, it looks like that. It, um, its petting animation is awesome. Now let's do the angry animation. Oh, those things come out! It's a um, what are they called? Flares? I I don't remember what they're called. In the comments, I want to remind you are uh, um what they're called on the top of the Dilophosaurus's head. Well, I guess we can end the video right here. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hope you enjoyed.